Service for the details. Five minutes contact of information, Oscar. Information, Oscar. Point out for information, Oscar. 2353 three, Zulu. Wind 3007. Zero, zero, Visibility 10. Few clouds 25,000. Temperature 20, zero, dew point 6. Altimeter 3008. Zero, zero, 3008. Zero, zero, eight. Left approach and east landing and departing runway 32. Notice the east for a crane, 4.5 nautical miles northwest of the field, 300 feet AGL. Stadium TFR starts at 6.10 local time, PM. Temporary flight restriction will be in effect in accordance with NOTAM 7.4319er for Safeco Field until one hour after then concludes. No practice approaches are authorized. Contact flight service for the details. Bias is contact of information, Oscar. Exit at 392 point ground, were you checking in? Yes sir, Alpha 9 for signature. Set to 392, taxi take should be a northbound alpha. Have a great day. Northbound alpha, you too, set to 392. So I think that I am going to not call them up. I'll just come out here and do my run up uh, since there is already another plane sitting holding short of Alpha 10. Red Barn 685, Boeing cleared Payne Airport via the Boeing 1 departure. For, as for, for takeoff, the full configuration. Seattle departure frequency Back. is 120.4. Left. Squawk 46. That'd be five left. Five. Forward. that make me go down. Right. The other ones both move. All the way back and left. Configuration. Red 685, read back, Laps. correct, sir. You have a safe flight. Trim. This first flight, air speed, attitude, altimeter, 3008. Double check that. In accordance with NOTAM 7.4319er for safe go field until one hour after Attitude, the altimeter, turn and bank. Practice approaches are authorized. HG. Contact flight service for the details. Five is contact oh, information. Zero. And information, five. Oscar, 2353 three, Zulu. Wind 3007, visibility 10. Few clouds 25,000. Temperature 20, dew point 6. Altimeter 3008. ILS runway 32. Left approach, east landing and departing runway 32. I need us. Notice salmon use caution for a crane 4.5 nautical miles west of the yep. field 300 feet of the Stadium Good. TFR stacked yep. at 610 local time PM. Harvey. Temporary flight restriction Good. will be in effect in accordance with NOTAM 7.4319er for safe field. Temporary pressure changes, RPM changes. No practice approaches are authorized. Contact flight service for the details. Oil pressure, no off. significant change. And I don't see any. Floating information, Oscar. Floating oil. Three Zulu. Wind 3007, visibility 10. 10. Two pressure. clouds, two five thousand. Temperature two point six. Ten meter. Altimeter three zero zero eight. I'll correct on the three zero zero eight. Have a great day. Taxi to signature one forty six. Thanks. Sorry, the mixture of throttle, magnetos, propeller, carb heat. Check the cylinder temp. Check the exhaust gas temp. Fuel gauge, oil pressure, manifold pressure, tachometer section, ammeter, throttle, seat belts and doors. I am actually, other than my clearances, ready to take off. The other craft there at Bravo 10, take call sign and direction. Boeing ground, Skyline 5084 Delta in the southeast corner with Oscar, ready to taxi VFR westbound departure. Number 5084 Delta, Boeing ground, runway 32 left, Alpha 10, taxi via Alpha. Via Alpha to Alpha 10, 5084 Delta. Clear for takeoff, traffic holding in position in upfield. Number nine, I'm going to without the way, three to the left, without the 10, clear for takeoff. 
Uh, at Boeing, Taylor Grumman, 264. If it helps your traffic, we can do a straight out uh, as well. All right, now to Mike Juliet, now responding. Hold short, runway 32 left at Alpha 10, cancel takeoff, clear. Cancel takeoff, uh, you were stepped on, 7 Niner Mike Julian. Uh, November 284, traffic ahead and to your right, one mile inbound, Cessna 1100, do you have an insight? Insight, 264. November 264, behind that traffic, uh, northbound is approved, a right turn out. Traffic will depart uh, just uh, in a moment behind you, Gulfstream 4, 2000. Right turn, northbound behind the stairs, grab 264. Good boat, tower uh, 123 Charlie Juliet, 32 left visual. Citation 123 Charlie Juliet, Boeing Tower, continue. Charlie 4, runway 32 left at Alpha 11, clear to take off. Traffic 1 mile off the, uh, up, off the departure end. Hey, Grumman will be our right turnout. Twilight 4, clear for takeoff, 32 left. Citation 3 Charlie Juliet, constant wind turbulence at Gulfstream 4, departing ahead, runway 32 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 32 left. Thanks for uh, turbulence update, 3 Charlie Juliet. Mike Juliet, to avoid wake turbulence, uh, runway 32 left at Alpha 11, taxi via Alpha. 32 left, Alpha 11 via Alpha 7, Niner Mike Juliet. And to Alpha 510 on the right downwind. Plus the 510, caution wake turbulence, the Gulfstream 4 departed the parallel, traffic on a two mile final of citation for the parallel, caution wake turbulence, runway 32 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 32 right, 510, thank you. Twilight 4, contact Seattle departure. Twilight 4, switch and have a great one. Cap flight 4649, runway 32 right, cleared for takeoff. Caution wake turbulence to Gulfstream 4, just as part of the parallel stick in direction. Cap flight 4649, runway 32 right, cleared for takeoff. Stay direction of flight. Cap flight 4649, caution wake turbulence to Gulfstream depart of the parallel. Runway 32 right, cleared for takeoff. Boeing Tower, Skyline 5084 Delta, holding short of 32 left at Alpha 10 with Oscar, VFR, westbound departure. Track 5084 Delta, Boeing Ground, runway 32 left at Alpha 11, now taxi via Alpha to avoid the wake turbulence. Via Alpha to Alpha 11, 5084 Delta. Santana 20 is holding short, Alpha 11 Prime, Harley. Santana 20, Boeing Tower, hold short, runway 32 left. Long short, 32 left, Santana 20. Santana 20, actually runway 32 left at Alpha 11, line up and wait. Up and wait, 32 left, Alpha 11, Santana 20. Citation 3 Charlie Juliet, turn right Alpha 9 or contact ground, take care. Alpha 9.9 .9 or uh, 3 Charlie Juliet, thank you. Number 9 Bravo 10. Santana 2-0, runway 3-2 left, Alpha 11, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 3-2 left, Alpha 11, Santana 2-0. Citizen 738, visual 3-2 left, good afternoon. Citizen 738, Boeing Tower, continue runway 3-2 left, traffic 12 o'clock, one mile eastbound, indicating 700, type unknown. All right, we're looking for Citizen 738. Citizen 510, turn right at Alpha 5 there, contact ground point nine. Uh, Alpha 510, thank you. So, uh, this aircraft in front of me, was a little bit Sierra, Papa, runway slow full length, clear for on and take accepting his takeoff clearance clear from Alpha 10. Full left, full left. So he was then unable to take off. I think kind of irritated the controller, uh, who canceled his takeoff clearance. And when he did contact them again, uh, the controller had him come down here to Alpha 11. And since I was right there too, I got wrapped up in that. And now I'm down here at Alpha 11, which I've never taken off from before. So the lesson that I'm taking from this is when you say you are ready to take off, be ready to take off. Helicopter 4, Zulu, Zulu, Boeing Tower, stand by. Bus 9 or Mike Juliet without delay, runway 32 left and off 11, clear for takeoff, traffic on a three mile final, no delay please. No delay, clear for takeoff, 7 9 or Mike Juliet. That's at 738, one Cessna departing party arrival, runway 32 left, clear to land. Helicopter 4, Zulu, Zulu, Boeing Tower, Pad 5, uh, Rainier, departure approved. Traffic departing off the big runways, the Cessna followed by another Cessna, both uh, straight out. Cessna 787, 4 Golf, Boeing Tower, ident, information Oscar is current, advise you have it. And uh, left traffic, runway 32 left. 
Cessna 74 Golf, verify information, Oscar, please. Cap flight 46, 49, if you're still on traffic, 11, moving 12 o'clock, one mile southeast, bound indicating 600, type unknown, frequency change approved. November 9th, Sierra Papa, Banner 2, uh, 1 o'clock, 2 miles, maneuvering, indicating 1,300. Yeah, that's right. 9th, Sierra Papa. Sky 4, traffic just off the departure in a 3-2 left northwest bound, a Cessna indicating 1,000, they have you in sight. That's at 738, turn right Alpha 4, cross runway 3-2 right, contact ground point enter. All right, right turn Alpha 4, we're clear across the parallel, no contact ground, which is 738. Now it's about my turn. Since I don't see anyone Number else. Number 3944, Whiskey Bowling Tower, traffic crossing downfield. So I don't see anyone else coming in to land. November 5084, Delta, Blake departure, runway 32 left at Alpha 11, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 3-2 left, 5-0-8-4 Delta. Lights are on, transponder's on. Fuel and prop full forward. November 9th, Sierra Papa, you're still uh, approaching uh, Elliott Bay there from the uh, northwest bound. Power coming in. Uh, we are, uh, Engine instruments uh, looking good. Turn right whenever available to the Factoria Mall, uh, 9th, Sierra Papa. 9th, Sierra Papa, you can start the right departure at this time. You have the uh, banner tow there in sight off your right side. Hey, sir. Tap the brakes. Guardian 1, Boeing Tower, Banner Tow, 1 o'clock, 1 mile, maneuvering 1,400 indicated. Transition approved, Boeing Altimeter 3008. So I have plenty of room if I need to stop. Sky uh, 4, traffic, uh, just to your south. I am uh, uh, setting my manifold pressure to 23 inches and my cross speed to 2450 uh -huh. RPM. Just to your northeast, 1 mile, southeast bound, indicating 1,100. Both aircraft have you in sight. November 8-4, Delta, as you make the turn westbound, traffic just inside of Pont Lori, a Cessna inbound indicating 1,500. Looking for traffic, 5084 Delta. November 4-4, Whiskey, runway 32 right, clear for takeoff, say again direction. Saying in November 4-4, Whiskey, say again direction. All right, so just inside Pont Lori. And 4-4, Whiskey, you're stepped on, say again direction. So they should be south four, of four, us whiskey, somewhere here. Straight out for now. Bowling through the Rainier departure, Bowling Tower Pad 5, Rainier departure proof, say again direction. Say again, call sign. Look out for 4-1, Whiskey Bravo, Richard. Traffic in sight, 5084 Delta. Cessna 7-4 Golf, runway 32 left, clear to land. Four Delta, the previously called traffic's passing off your left side, one mile, indicating 900. Already have them in sight, 504 Delta. Delta 704 Golf, previous traffic's behind and to your left now, no factor. November 9 or Sierra Papa, you can fly towards Seward Park, contact Renton Tower 124.7, take care. 124.7, 9 Sierra Papa, thanks. And Guardian 1, say again your uh, destination. Guardian 1, Roger, proceed as requested. Remain east of the final for now. There is a uh, Beach 99 just over Lake Young's inbound for the uh, ILS free list. Guardian 6378, Mike, going tower right in. 
Alpha 6370, Mike, enter right down, went for runway 32 right, report at the end of the stadium. Staying in November 44, Whiskey Mercer departure is approved. Traffic just south of the I 90 bridge inbound for written assessment, indicating 1,000. Adding a little bit of power back in. Our manifold pressure drops as we climb. And Guardian 1, traffic just below and to your right on the Rainier departure is a helicopter there. Helicopter 4-1 Whiskey Bravo, traffic above and to your left, a helicopter stopped eastbound for downtown Kent. Guardian 1, Roger. And uh, for helicopter 4-1 Whiskey Bravo, just remain east of the final for 3-2 left. Traffic joining a 7-mile final for 3-2 left to Beach 99, descending out of 2,900. So I was sitting here holding a little bit of forward pressure on the yoke, which I shouldn't do. Um, because I didn't want to climb as fast as uh, this power setting is going to have me at this trip. So, instead, trip. Cessna 7991 Uniform Boeing Tower, traffic 11 o'clock, 2 miles westbound. Cessna indicating 2100. That's Inter me. Left traffic, runway 32 left, report 2 miles west. Looking for that traffic, uh, 32 left will report 2 miles west. Helicopter 4 Zulu Zulu Boeing Tower, traffic oh. is approaching overhead, uh, long anchors there, beach 99 inbound to the left, 2500 descending. Additional traffic, uh, about 2 miles southeast. So that plane out there is 7991 Uniform. Indicating 1000, and the Rainier arrival is through. 901 Uniform, we have that traffic on our left. And for Guardian 1, traffic just over Long Acres inbound helicopter. I'm a little surprised you didn't tell me to look for them. But that's, one whiskey bro. that's okay. Over Long Acres inbound helicopter low level. Boeing Tower, Amplite 1981 is on the visual, 32 left. Amplite 1981, Boeing Tower, good afternoon. Traffic uh, just called me below you there over Long Acres inbound, not currently uh, Altitude is currently unknown. Traffic 1 o'clock, 1 mile south eastbound, east of your finals, a helicopter, followed by another helicopter. 12 to 1 o'clock and uh, 2 miles, indicating 700, runway 32 left, clear to land. Looking for the traffic, Amp flight 1981, clear to land, 32 left. Already one to beach, 99, passing off your right side, no factor, the helicopter. A little more power since I've climbed a little bit here. Unknown. So yeah, I'm out of Boeing airspace. 1 o'clock, 1 mile, descending out of 1,900. So let's try. Seattle approach, 120.1. And fly 1981, helicopter. See how busy that is. Ah, the door popped open. Seven nine or Mike Julia, VFR request. I'm sorry, top of line, who's checking on? Uh, 7 9 Mike Juliet has a VFR request. 7 9 Mike Juliet, go. 7 9 Mike Juliet is 10 miles north of Tacoma Narrows, climbing through 3,700 VFR to North Bend, Oregon. At uh, 8,500, request flight following for Cessna 182 slant call. 9 9 Mike Juliet, Roger, what's the identifier for North Bend, Oregon? Uh, OTH, Oscar Tango Hotel. OTP. Oh, wait, that's how you're ready. Number 9, Mike Juliet, Fox 4661 and Ident, maintain VFR. 4661, Ident, 7 9 Mike Juliet, maintain VFR. 6 Juliet, Charlie, 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 Right on, single Bravo approach, Roger. November 618, traffic 11 o'clock, 2 miles northeast on 2100 indicated. Roger. November 9, Mike Juliet, our contact 10 north, coming arrow, down to indicate 4300. Maintain VFR, state allowance, limit 309. Alpha 2 check, maintain VFR, 7 out of my chair. So 85 heavy, just to maintain 2 down.
Call eight five heavy, turn left heading zero five zero. November five, Tango Bravo, proceed direct to Homey and join the localizer. All right. November seven, Alpha Tango, maintain VFR. We have a little bit here. Hundred Cove is going to pass the ATF four thousand at King Air. Out above the forty five hundred, one seven Alpha Tango. We have a request as well. Go ahead. I'd like to shoot uh, RNAV-17 at Tacoma Narrows. We have Lima. Number 7, Alpha Tango. Roger, altitude restriction still remains the same. Uh, for now, proceed direct to Joy to join final approach course. We'll proceed direct. Uh, climbing up to 4,500 for now. So it's 4,500, 1, 7, Alpha Tango. Yep. Go 8, 5, heavy, turn left, heading 330. November 6, 1, 8, contact approach, 1, 2, 3, point, enter, good day. November 5, 5, Lima, what approach would you like to Bremerton? November 5, 5, Lima, Roger, and can you go direct to Walmart now? Adding a little bit more power as I continue to climb. 5, 5, Lima, thanks. Play direct Walmart. So 85 heavy contact final controller 128.2. Number seven Alpha Tango, how are the first seven eight? Full stop, seven Alpha Tango. Thank you. November 05 Alpha, turn right, heading 310. November 05 five, Lima, descend to maintain 5,000. November 05 Tango Bravo, traffic 11 moving 12 o'clock and 2 miles southwest on 4,300 indicated type unknown. That's probably us. Number five, Tango Bravo, just going to maintain 3,000. Thank you. Seattle Approach, Skyline 5084 Delta, 2 east of Bremerton, 4,500 VFR request. 84 Delta, Kinger, Tass, Venetia, out of 4,000, what's the request? Our request is VFR flight falling to Copalis. That's uh, Sierra 16. Type of aircraft again, please. Cessna 182, 5084 Delta. 4 Delta, maintain VFR, plug zero, restrict and uh, spark. It's getting there, 4757 and ident. 4757 will maintain VFR, 5084 Delta. Couple calling at once there. Uh, November 5, 5, Lima, descend to maintain 4,000. For 7 Alpha Tango, delete altitude restrictions, traffic, no factor. Roger, delete altitude restrictions, one on Tango. November 8, 4 Delta, radar contact, just south of Bremerton, altitude indicates 5,100. Maintain VFR, resume on navigation, Seattle altitude at 3009. We'll maintain VFR and position altitude check, 5084 Delta. Who's ready to go uh, to the runway at Bremerton? Number 5436, Echo Roger. Uh, I don't show anything in the system for you. Probably add a little bit more fuel here. Not more fuel, more air. Not more air in that engine.
Aircraft off road, Mark. If you give me just a second, I'll clean some stuff up, and then I can probably give you that clearance and change a call sign for you. Or if you want to depart VFR, and we can, I can give it to you in the air. I've got a few more things to do, but uh, I should have a, have a second here shortly. Okay, so what I'm aiming at From is zero five alpha, turn right three, just four, zero. north of that sort of southern so eight, five, heavy, part of the mountains, the Olympic Range. All right, five heavy radar contact, three northwest to gray altitude, 3,000, turn left 180, vector to the localizer, three, four. The climb is 6,500. Number five, Tango Bravo, you're four from uh, Homey, cross Homey, 3,000, you're cleared to localizer, 17 and two, Olympia. Number five, Tango Bravo, and just verify this is full stop, correct? Thank you. I have to send a picture to McKenzie. 7 Alpha Tango, you're a mile from Fabdu, you're clear the Arnav runway 17 approach. Clear the Arnav 17, got all like 7 Alpha Tango. Go 85 Heavy, turn left, heading 140. Is there anybody else calling unanswered with their VFR request? Where do you want to go, 539? Type of aircraft, sir. November 539, Roger, maintain VFR. Reset the transponder and squawk 4767, seven, ident. Whew. Approach 362, Charlie. With a little bit off here. Yeah, approach uh, 36 Juliet Charlie. We'd like to uh, cancel and head over through McCord Airspace to PLU. Number 36 uh, Juliet Charlie, Roger. Maintain VFR and uh, stay on your present beacon code. You can start the turn uh, towards the 100 feet. And uh, contact McCord Tower on, uh, let's see here, uh, 124.8. 248, we'll head over to east and we'll remain this squawk code. There's my altitude. Airspeed climbing. Yeah, we'll approach the trend 178 Romeo Delta, checking on level 4500 VFR to shell. 178 Romeo Delta, Seattle approach, thanks for maintaining VFR in the Seattle Round Cemetery 3009. 3009, see Romeo Delta. That's Mark up there, two jumping in progress in the center of your shelf now below 13,000. Number 7 Alpha Tango, and just verify you have data, sir, for uh, the Narrows, correct? It's uh, Lena. We do have Lena, what's up, Tango? 7 Alpha Tango, thanks, contact Narrows, sir. Have a good day. We're deciding, so what's up? Alright. Roughly canceled off here. Zero, two, zero. Probably lean a little more. So 8 5 heavy, turn left heading 090, zero, zero, descend to maintain 2,000. Number uh, five, Tango Bravo. Uh, they're landing three five. Did you want to land straight in or circle? Five, Tango Bravo. I just the localizer runway one seven. Circle the runway three five. Yeah, we're uh, five four three six echo request. So 85 Heavy, turn left heading 010, zero, zero, on the localizer. November 05 Alpha, turn right heading 070. November 84 Delta, connect center 128.3, good day. Switching to center 128.3, 5084 Delta. Seattle Center, Skylane 5084 Delta, 6500 level, VFR. 
Number 5084 Delta Seattle Center Roger, the Shelton Altimeter 3004. Thank you, 504 Delta. Number 504 Delta, be advised the Olympic Alpha and Bravo Mola is in use today uh, from uh, 6000 to level 350. Thank you, 504 Delta. That was 9791, clear to descend via the hospital, travel heading north. All right, so the military operational area is active. Uh, he said from 6,000 feet up to some flight level that I don't even care about. United um, 47, contact I'm looking at the map, and my current altitude. By the time I get there, I can start descending. I probably should. This is about 20 minutes out. Um, but also, I'm right near the very southern boundary of it, so it's also a very reasonable thing to uh, angle just a little bit further to the south. Um, also, it's a military operational area. I can just fly right through it. Up to 5700, contact settle approach 125.6. 125.6, come to 5700, we'll see you. 5007, clear to descend via the Hawk 6, arrival landing north, settle altimeter is at 3009. Descend via the Hawk landing north, Alaska, 3507. <coughs> Since I leveled off and my airspeed climbed a little bit, on my turn coordinator, I could see that uh, I needed a little bit of left rudder input compared to how I had it trimmed in order to have it perfectly centered. So, so I reached down with my foot and adjusted the rudder a little bit further left. make a better uh, set of checklists for in-flight. So, cruise checklist, power set, cowl flaps, huh? That's why I need a better one, because this plane doesn't have cowl flaps. Elevator and rudder trim is good. Mixture, continuing to lean it. Center, uh, then 10 and 20 degrees of back direction, we're belly, yes. Okay, 10, 20 degrees of back valley. Let's get twenty contact settle center on one three two point zero seven. So we're 40 miles away from Copalis. We're doing 140 knots. Let's just round down and say we're doing 120 knots. So that's two miles a minute. So that's 10 minutes. contact will approach 25.6. If I were to descend at 500 feet a minute for 10 minutes, that gives me 5,000 feet of descent. I think what I'm going to do is cruise at this altitude a little bit longer, and then descend a little bit faster. Uh, if I was in the Mooney, I would certainly have started my descent now, uh, because it does a much better job of converting that uh, energy that I have in my altitude, that potential energy, into speed. This plane does not do quite such a good job of that.
I can already see the ocean, which is nice. Passing 34 now for 240. Sky 939, settle turn clear to descend via the Hawk 6 arrival, landing north, settle altimeter 3009. Sky 939, clear to descend via the Hawk arrival, north flow 3009. Thank you. I don't know if I'm going to do a full stop landing or a touch and go, or depending on the winds, maybe just a low pass. Let's see what weather at Hoquiam has been like. 250 at nine knots. So that's kind of a direct crosswind. Um, Capelis has runways of one, four, and three, two. Yeah, it does favor three, two. Seattle, hello, Alaska 317, level 340, pot discretion 240. Alaska 317, set of center clerk to descend via the Hawk 6 arrival, landing north, set of altimeter 3009, more than an hour old. To descend via the Hawk, landing north, Alaska 317. It's pretty hazy and humid out here. I'm not paying attention very close, and I started climbing. Gained nearly 200 feet. Thank you for being nice to be close you. Uh... <laughs> Center, again, please. Vancouver, United, 312, we'll be out of 53 for 1,000 echo. United, 312, we're supposed to be Vancouver, folks, on a 1286. United, 312, get out of here. Contact to the Center 132.07. 132.07, Delta 2215. You know, I am not positive that I've been to Westport. 2507, contact to the approach 125.6. Or we'll off the harbor. So, today seems like a good day to do that. Less than 30 miles out, I'll start descending. A little bit of trim to kick things off. 50752 descending via with uh, Mike. Bus 507, put the switch, it'll approach 1256. It's almost there, thank you. Oh, there's more power. All right, I'm below 6,000 feet. He said that was the minimum altitude that the military operational area was active for. Now I'm heading more directly towards the airport.
descent just a little bit more or a little bit quicker there. Again, basically, having it all having the aircraft trimmed, so I don't actually have to continue to hold any sort of pressure on the yoke. Alaska three twenty six plus three seven zero final. Alaska three twenty six, I'm making for level three seven zero. Three seven zero. As I continue to descend, uh, my manifold pressure increases. So now that I'm at the top of the green arc, I start pulling back on the throttle. Alaska 320, past 10.3 for 15,000. Alaska 220, Seattle Center, come to maintain for level 370. I'm 370, Alaska 320. I'm expecting Seattle Center to call me pretty soon and cancel my VFR flight following. If you're like the 1919, it's 340 uh, Seattle Center, sir, just send via Hawk 6 Mining North, Seattle Altimeter 3008. Send via Hawk 6 going to the last day. Camera battery doing okay? Looks like it. There we go, reducing the manifold pressure a little bit to stay in that green arc. Not the nicest terrain to have a uh, engine issue in. I guess the terrain is fine, but the trees are not. I got a couple of landing spots over there if I need to. Hey, that's the nice for you. Five zero eight four Delta Radar uh, contact lost. Radar service is terminated. Spot maintained. VFR free. Change approved. I have no topic. Uh, get out radar in your area. Thank you. Five zero eight four Delta. All right, one, two, zero, zero. Yeah, we want one, two, two point nine. About 13 miles out. Go pay with traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is about uh, 10 to 15 miles to the northwest and bound for landing, go pay with.
All right, now I've got some civilization down here and a good sized road. So if I did have an engine problem at this point, uh, there's plenty of stuff where I could set the plane down and even if the plane is damaged and I can't walk away, I'm very likely to be found quickly. by descent to 2,500 and level off there. going to level off, the thing I have to do is trim the plane. So it's left traffic for runway 32. So I'm going to overfly the runway at 500 feet or more above pattern altitude. And then I'll enter onto the 40, enter from the 45 for the left downwind for runway 32. Traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is about five miles to the northeast, 2500. Inbound for landing, I'll overfly midfield, then enter left downwind for runway 32, Copalis. Letting everyone know what it is that I'm planning on doing. decent areas to land if I need to. I have seen better, but I've also seen a lot worse. right here is the southern boundary of the airport. Go ahead and reduce power a bunch more here. Go full rich on the mixture. Because it's so freaking hazy and moist out here, I am adding carb heat. I recognize that rock down there. 
it's like part way up the airport, so the southern boundary of the airport's down there. Trim for slower flight. Traffic sky 5084 Delta over midfield 1500. I'll be entering the left downwind for runway 32 Copalis. All right. That doesn't do your traffic. 5585. I'll be backpacking on runway 30. Never like to get too far out over the ocean here. There's a lot of buoys out here. I wonder if there are different crab traps or something. Skyline 5084 Delta is left downwind 32, Copalis. Okay. Prepare for landing. This is my traffic pattern power. Looking at the runway down there, it all looks good. I see the windsock, which indicates I've chosen the correct runway. All right, I'm beamed into the runway. Power to 1,800. Car heat on. Next to rich. Prop full forward. In the white arc. Oh, I'm slow. Should be pitching for 90. 10 degrees flaps. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, and prop. Fortunately, I think I'm a little bit close to the runway, so my base and final turns will have to be one right after the other and a little steeper than I would normally like. Copalis traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, left base 32, Copalis. So it should be no more than 30 degrees angle of bank and 80 knots, correction, 80 miles an hour. I'm definitely overshooting. I also went to 20 degrees of flaps. So, will be a uh, left hand to the 30 degrees of flaps. Copalis traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, final 32, Copalis. Okay. Gas, undercarriage. Mixture prop carb heat. It's all looking good. I feel like I'm a little high. Why do I always say little? In my estimation, I have too much altitude at this point. So I'm reducing power in order to descend more quickly. A okay. little bit of left crosswind, which on touchdown will mean right rudder. This is actually looking really nice right now.
doesn't look like I'm making big tracks. Not stopping though. Yeah, so while I'm just sort of idling along here, uh, trying to keep a bunch of back pressure on the yoke, keep the weight on the main wheels rather than on the nose. To the west, we'll be flying south down the coast. Trying to lean enough that, ooh, maybe that was too much. Trying to lean the engine enough that if I wanted to take off, or wanted to apply full power, I couldn't. I totally missed my touchdown point there. Sort of wanted to look for it. I don't know why I'm taxiing all the way back here. There's really no need. All right, mixture rich, carb heat cold, lights on, transponder on. Copalis traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta taking off runway 32. We'll be departing to the south, Copalis. I'm kind of climbing a little bit more on the upwind than I normally would. And that's because as I turn out to the crosswind, Copalis traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, left crosswind 32, Copalis. I'm out over the ocean. And that could be unpleasant if I had an engine issue about now. Except for the fact that I've climbed higher than normal. So all I have to do is get back to the beach. Copilus traffic skyline 5084 Delta is left downwind 32. I'll be departing from the downwind to the south, Copalis. So let's have a look at Westport. No notams, that's good. Add that to my route. Have a look at what Westport has to say. They have one, two, and three, zero. That's not Westport. Uh, yeah, it's Westport. Two thousand three hundred by fifty feet. Anyway, one, two, and three, zero. Hope we have weather. Saying 
five zero, so three zero is definitely the better runway. So right pattern for three zero. So they're gonna be on the inside area over there. When I say inside, I mean they're going to be on the inside of the harbor rather than on the ocean side. Uh, my plan is to climb to and maintain 1,500. I'll fly a little bit outside of where the traffic pattern should be, and a little bit outside in this case because it's right-hand traffic for 3-0. It's going to be further to the east. All right, there's about 1,500. Trim some level off. Okay, I see where uh, the south high, south half of the harbor is. A little more level off. Now, Ocean Shores traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is about four miles to the northwest, overflying southbound at 1,500. And Westport traffic, I'm about, what, 10 miles out inbound for landing. Okay. So after that, go to Wallapa Harbor. Add the route, information notams. Let's look at just notams at first. No notams, go figure. I was holding a little bit of right rudder that was inappropriate there. It's kind of weird how it was sort of a manufactured, ideally resort community, but just never really became popular. I think because it's simply too cold and wet and dreary out here on the coast for people to want to come here enough to buy it, yeah, to spend a lot of money investing in a house or whatever out here. I'm wondering if all these sort of water pools down here and all the stuff that goes in and around the houses actually connects to the ocean. 
Like, could you take a boat? Looks like a bunch of it does. Or maybe not. That would be horrifyingly stupid. Skyline 5084 Delta is about uh, two miles to the north, uh, 1,500. We'll be entering on the 45 for right downwind 30, Westport. Traffic Skyline 5084 Delta is right down and for runway 30 Westport. There's my thousand feet. Into the runway, 1800, carpet on, in the wide arc, extending flaps, pitching for 90. Gas, check. Undercarriage, check. Mixture and prop and carb heat. All right. 20 degrees of flaps. Westport traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, right base, 30 Westport. Pitching for 80. Oh, I let my airspeed build up there. Westport traffic skyline 5084 Delta is final for 30 Westport. Gas, undercarriage, landing gears down, mixture prop car beat. Oh, I went right through the glide slope while I wasn't paying attention. Gears down. Oh, God, that was horrible. That was a just abysmal landing. anyone here. It looks like a pretty big plane actually. Oh well.
dive away from the wind when you're taxiing. Westport traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, back taxiing to 30 Westport. Westport traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, taking off runway 30, Westport. Right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and give it all the power. Skyline 5084 Delta, right crosswind, Westport. Skyline 5084 Delta is right downwind. I'll be departing from the downwind to the south, Westport. I'm heading towards Wallapa Harbor. Somewhere off my right wing, a little bit down here is let's see, Grayland Intergalactic. Intergalactic planetary, planetary, intergalactic. Oh, there's 2,500. Green arc, green arc. Three 
thousand feet by fifty-two. They have one one and two nine. Two nine is the right runway for me today. It's gonna be left traffic all around. Uh, they're pretty close to the water, just on this side of the town. I don't remember if I've been here before. Uh, there are one, two, two, nine as well. Skyline 5084 Delta is about 10 miles to the north northwest inbound for landing, Willapa Harbor. Okay. I'm a little surprised there aren't more Yahoos like me out here flying today. Ah, I think I see the runway out there. has pretty poor landing options if I should lose my engine. Maybe I can make that. There's definitely like some uh, ridge line forestry roads. Yeah, there's one down here. It's not the greatest, but It'll certainly make it easier to find the wreckage. And at this point, I can make one of these sort of flat valley bottoms. Time to start a descent. Well, Lompa Harbor traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, about four miles to the west-northwest. Inbound, I'll be uh, entering onto left downwind for runway 29, Lompa Harbor.
thousand feet to go to get the pattern altitude. Reduce the power just a little bit here. power a little more. school of birds, or I think maybe it's fish that are jumping out there. Super crazy weird. Willamba Harbor traffic, Skyline 5084, Delta left downwind, 2-9, Willamba Harbor. Sir Rich. Pattern power, 15 inches, 2300 RPM. on in the wide arc, 10 degrees of flaps, pitching for 90. Turning base, Willop Harbor, Skyline 5084 Delta, left base, 29, Willop Harbor. Pitching for 80. Uh, maybe it was birds I was seeing earlier. Yeah. There's more flocks that were just below me that looked very similar. Well, Wamp Harbor traffic, Skyline 5084, Delta, turning final, 2-9, Wamp Harbor. Gas, undercarriage, mixture. Prop. RP should have done that earlier. Yeah, last time I ended up a little low. Seems pretty good here. I think I'm gonna need to add some power. Let's see how that goes. 70 miles an hour. It's on, gear is down. A little slow, a little low. See some people walking. I think they're just out here playing with their bows and arrows. That was an uh, unsatisfyingly poor landing on my part. Second time. Right. Well done, Willapa Harbor. Get much power out of the engine.
with it as lean as it is. Looks like our archery practice friends are taking off. They should have stayed. Looking at the patterns of dark and light on this taxiway, it looks like maybe something either like regularly blows over the ta over the taxiway, or maybe it's submerged a bunch of the time. Well, up Harbor Traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta taking off runway 29. I'll be departing from the downwind to the south, Lapa Harbor. Next year. Drop, car beats off. No one's coming in on final. Twenty three inches. Climbing, tap the brakes. Power's already in the green. Engine speed, green arc. If I had to put it down out here, I'd go out that way. Maybe those fields would be firm enough to take the landing gear. See lots of flocks of birds down there. Pretty sure that's what I was seeing earlier. Harbor traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, left crosswind, 29, Willapa Harbor. And I held left rudder because I was in a left turn, but really the yoke's slightly to the right, so I should have held right rudder. Willapa Harbor traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is right downwind. I'll be departing from the downwind to the south, Wolof Harbor. Traffic, uh, Skyline 735, Lima Hotel, left to downwind, runway 33, to Halen. Let's go cruise 
Take down the beach. I'm quite so fast. Alpha traffic doesn't afford to be a Delta 30 base for 3 4 and Alpha. I'm climbing to and maintaining 4,500. say about itself. One zero two eight Astoria weather. At three one zero, so that's still gonna be runway two eight. Oh, there's four thousand five hundred. Pay more attention, Clay. by 50. That's not a very long runway. Awesome. I'm going to want runway 28. That's the one that's facing a bit further west. Runway 28. Right traffic, or left traffic all around. So, the easiest thing to do is overfly midfield 1,500. Alright, so it's sort of on that inlet down there.
cylinders are a little bit cold. So if I lean the engine just a little bit more, maybe that'll help warm it up. Start a 500 foot a minute descent here. El Waco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is about 10 miles to the north, inbound for landing, El Waco. I can't help myself but say El Waco. Motion short of traffic, support November 658 out of Romeo. It's on the upwind, five and three seven hundred. I'm actually gonna take a left to the beach and fly south along the beach at a thousand. Motion short. So they're right near the water, sort of along the water, headed right towards it. Oh, I have too much power. Walko traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is about five miles north, inbound for landing. Uh, runway 28, Walko. Walko traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is about five miles north, inbound for landing. Uh, runway 28, Walko. I do not see it yet. 1,000 feet to descend before I cross over the runway. I really should have been holding a little bit of left rudder here. That's probably it, sort of going this way. Like the west side is a little bit further away from the water. I think I see a run up area down there. 400 feet to go on my descent. Looking more and more runway-like. Yeah, that looks a lot like a runway. Got see. There is a 1,500, leveling off. So Walko traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta over midfield, southbound 1,500. I'll be making a big right-hand turn to enter left downwind for 2-8, Walko.
is very unforgiving down here. I don't think I want to land in that water. Since it's water, does it even count as land landing? Got pattern power. I probably need to go a little bit less power since I still need to descend. Ilwaco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta on the 45 for left downwind to a Ilwaco. Right, my airspeed's about right, but I'm still 300 feet high. I'm close enough to the runway, probably closer than I really need to be because it's so short. There's a thousand feet, pattern power. Okay. A beam, the touchdown point, 1,800. Car heat in the wide arc, pitching for 90. 10 degrees of flaps, gas, check. Undercarriage, check. Mixture, check. Prop, check. Turning base, pitching for 80. Ilwaco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, turning left base, 28 Ilwaco. So my power is a little low, but I think I am high. So instead of sort of turning directly towards the airport, I'm continuing to have a slightly longer base. Three degrees of flaps. Ilwaco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta turning final to eight Ilwaco. Pappy says I'm high. Pappy says I'm on glide slope. Gas, undercarriage, check, mixture and prop. Let's see if I can do this one without bouncing. More power. Oh. I did this one without bouncing. That was nice. Looks like the uh, grass over there is the taxiway to return. This is definitely an interesting thing. Walco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is clear of the runway. I'm definitely having to keep a lot more power going here than I would on even most grass. I'm just going to go back to the runway. Ilwaco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is back taxiing to 28 on the runway. Ilwaco.
such a huge difference. Texture prop. Owaco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta taking off to a Owaco. Let's do this just for fun. Obstacles here. Reducing power. Owaco traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta, turning left crosswind, 28 Owaco. Reducing engine speed, no one wants to hear this prop. Walko traffic, Skyline 5084 Delta is turning uh, left downwind. I'll be departing from the downwind upriver, Ilwako. All right, so let's say 5,500 for now. Astoria down there. Add to route. Three, four airports. Why don't I just turn on course?
not the story I wanted. So my call to center is going to be something along the lines of Seattle Center, Skyline 504 Delta, 10 Northeast, Astoria, 5500 VFR request. More power. More right rudder. More looking outside. This is great. Batteries get low. I don't know if any of those ships will turn out, but whatever. Plus 687, Seattle Center, good evening. Send via the hood for arrival, landing west, Portland altimeter 3002. November 6410, November, radar contact loss. And uh, maintaining 4000 feet, 403. Four miles east of uh, Astoria, moving north. And November 6410 November, as usual, as soon as I called you that, uh, your back radar contact five miles to the southeast of Astoria, New York. No worries, got to do it. One zero November. Seattle Center, Skyline 5084 Delta, 12 miles northwest, uh, Astoria, 5500 BFR request. An aircraft uh, ending in 84 Delta Northwest of Astoria. You're entering another sector of airspace. Contact them on 128.3. Thanks. Seattle Center, Skyline 5084 Delta, about 15 miles north northwest of Astoria, 5500 CFR request. And I'm sorry, I heard the altitude 5,500 north of the story. What was the call sign then? Cessna Skylane 5084 Delta with PFR request. Cessna 5084 Delta, Roger, I'll have a code for you in just a moment. Cessna 5084 Delta, Fox 6642. 6642, 5084 Delta. Contact one two miles north of the story of the OR at uh, 5,500. Stay in your type aircraft and your destination, please. Cessna Skylane 182 and destination is Boeing Field, 5084 Delta. Cessna 84 Delta, Roger, the uh, story of the 3008, maintain VFR. We'll maintain VFR, 5084 Delta. Well, there we are. Everybody's happy.
Shadows and Alaska, 589, leaving 358, just to uh, 240. Alaska, 589, Shadows and Alaska. I was hoping for a little bit better ground speed on the way back, but I am not going to get it. And Alaska, 589, transition, not to exceed 250 knots per meter. It's an update, 50, 50, 50, 50. All right, so aiming for that distant hill. Compass 5794, do not exceed 270 knots per meter. Not to exceed 270 knots, compass 5794. Alaska 589, turn 15 degrees left, sector meter left. 15 left, left, 589. Alaska 815, uh, 1700 for 15000. Okay, 15, Seattle Center, good evening, climbing team, level 340. Okay, flight level 340, and we're like 360 on request, Alaska. Okay, 15, Roger, climbing team, level 360. Climbing team, uh, 360, Alaska, 15. All right, that puts me back at just after 8 o'clock. Alaska, 756, contact Seattle Center on 132.07. 132.07, Alaska, 1756. Alaska, 589, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain 17,000, Seattle Center, 3008. 3008, just clear, shut to 17,000, Alaska, Mixture miser leaning instructions here. Start going all the way rich. It says set it within 50 degrees of the low end. Just sort of watching it continue to descend a little bit from what I uh, when I enriched it. Trip is looking good, bull. Rudder and oh, elevator. Still headed towards my mountain. Lean mixture until EGT peaks, then richen for drop of 25 to 100 degrees from peak. So it should be coming up here. It is. Still. I'm looking for peak EGT right now. Number 5794, descend via the Hawk 6 arrival, landing north, head up to the 3008. 3008 will descend via the uh, Hawks landing north compass 5794. Still climbing. Alaska 589, you direct Hawks. Direct Hawks, Alaska 589. I'm still climbing. 
think it's maybe because I'm adding a little bit more power since I'm leaned out. Air 2286, do not exceed your present speed for metering. Not to exceed present speed, Air 2286. Uh, maybe still climbing. Yeah, it's definitely still climbing. BGT just a little bit. Uh, I twisted at that time. It sounded to me like the engine noise changed just a little bit. We're doing 200, 50 knots right now. What speed do you need? Alaska 589, maintain 250 knots until slowed by the star and descend via the Hawk 6 arrival landing north. We just need the Hawk 6 landing north, maintain 250 knots until slowed by the star, Alaska 589. Yeah, Uh, it's definitely past peak there. So as I enrich in it, Seattle Center Skyway, to go back up to peak. Skyway 4131, Seattle Center, Roger, climbing change level 330. Climbing change level 330, Skyway 4131. Uh, I messed it up somehow. Alright, let's go try to find that peak again.